uh, some of the sample questions of the COBOL. And these questions uh, we will be taking as a basic questions. And as further videos will come, we will be going through the questions which are tricky or which are uh, difficult one, right? For now, in this video, we'll take the basic questions, right? So the first question would be, what is the level number 77? And what is the difference between level number 01 and 77? So as you can see, 01 and 77 level numbers both serve the same purpose as like 01 and the 77 both are used to declare the data items at the elementary level means elementary data items declaration both can be used the only difference is 01 can also be used for declaration of the group data items which 77 cannot do what is the difference between pick 9.99 and 9v99 see if we see uh, storage wise this 9.99 will take four bytes whereas 9v99 takes three bytes of storage why because nine point where we have give this point this is actual decimal point whereas v is a assumed decimal point so that it takes three bytes whereas this will take four bytes of the storage what is the linkage section used for as we all know that linkage section uh, as the name itself suggests it is used for the linking so what exactly is that so linkage section is used to pass the data either from one program to the another program or from a jcl to the cobol program whatever the data you want to send that will be received in the linkage section so we can say that linkage section is used for linking the program to program or program to the jcl what is the difference between comp and compli? See, comp, usage comp and usage comp 3 both are used for the numeric data, data items. So, this usage, uh, when it comes to the comp, it is used or it stores the data in a binary format, whereas comp 3 stores the data internally in the packed decimal format. There is another difference is that comp take the specific depending on your length specific storage uh, for the data items like if you have specified the size from one to four then it stores it in the fixed two bytes if you specify the size from the five bytes to the nine then it will take the full word for the storage and 10 to 18 it will take double word for the storage but when it comes to the comp3 the number of the bytes required to store depends on the length how it is let me say that if i have s9 of 5 so let us consider uh, 5 as n so it will use a formula called as n by 2 plus 1 so 5 by 2 plus 1 that would be the number of the bytes will be used for the storage in addition to this if it is a signed integer this sign will be stored in the four bits okay which usage class is used when i have s9 of 6 as a pick which takes only three bytes so as right now we have discussed uh, you with the usage comp3 this length if it is six then we can use uh, usage comp3 so that three bytes it will store whereas but uh, make it a point that your sign will be stored in a half byte separately how to accept the values for comp3 and comp variables see the accept can be used for the display usage for the variables which are declared with the display usage for that we can accept the values directly but as comp3 and comp variable are with the usage comp so these values accepting will not be possible directly so what we can do is we can declare the equivalent uh, variables with the display usage and we can move the values from there to the comp3 variables or the comp variables how to pass the values from jcl to cobol jcl to cobol passing the value is possible through the palm parameter which we specify at the exec in the jcl and the same values will be received in the cobol in the linkage section variables what is the way to passing the data to the program 
see the cobol program receives the data using program to program we can pass the data or we can pass the data from the jcl to the program through the pump parameter or by accepting the values we can also pass the data so we can say that three ways of passing the data when we say accept we can pass the data from pump parameter of the jcl we can pass the data as well from program to program we can pass the data so there are three ways what is the difference between continue and the next sentence the name itself suggests if we give anywhere continue it means that whatever the process is that particular process will continue whereas next sentence will take the control to the first period or we can say that first scope terminator means it will take it your uh, sorry it will take the control out of the first scope terminator or wherever it finds the first uh, period out of that or the next statement to that it will take your control back so what is the difference between index and subscript both can be used in the occurs clause thing is that index shows the displacement of a particular data item within a table from its starting position whereas subscript shows the occurrence this is the basic difference between the index and the subscript some of the places index like search and search all verbs index will be automatically incremented whereas subscript we have to increment manually so guys uh, these were uh, some of the few eight nine questions we have discussed at very basic level and in our coming videos we will be dis discussing some of the tricky questions in the cobol after that keep practicing thank you